All right, it's springtime and track and field season is wrapping up, so we bring in Madison Memorial. A couple seniors here, Kevin Tatulis, Sienna, uh, Sierra Hansen, rather. Uh, thanks for coming in, guys. First time we've uh, we've interviewed you, so thanks for coming in. Thanks for having us. Yeah, Thank you. absolutely. So let's let's start with this. Uh, the weather wreaked havoc on a lot of sports this spring, uh, but finally, you know, nice weather, tournament time. So what are you looking forward to? Uh, you know, most in the postseason. I think for definitely for our team, it's the competitiveness and it's it's working our way to state and it's seeing all our conference teams and hopefully beating them again and you know getting as many people on a coach bus to state. Yeah, we had a lot of uh, invites canceled, so we just want to get back and do good in regionals to get to sectionals and then do good at sectionals to get to state. And yeah, state is really the big goal for all of us. Yeah, probably a little tough to not have the uh, some of those meets canceled, and obviously you're not uh, competing as much with other teams. So that's good that you're, uh, you know, obviously on the, the the brink of greatness here. So how as captains do you make track and field a team sport? I think um, one of my biggest goals is to try to make sure that people are at camp as little as possible, make sure they get around the track to mm -hmm. the jumping pits and the throwing area to cheer on as many people as we can. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one thing, uh, I do pole vault, and one thing we do specifically is we have team lunches every once in a while, um, and we just have like, all the pole vaulters go out to lunch, so that's really fun, and it's good for team building. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, you know, Kevin, well, let's let's talk about the, the pole vaulting a little bit. How did you get into that? How did you, how'd that happen, and what do you like about it? Well, um, before I did track freshman year, I just was thinking of, like, I thought pole vault looked really fun, but I'd also done cross country, so I was thinking about distance. Mm. Um, and so I did distance the first day, and I was really out of shape, it did not go well. <laughs> so I decided to do pole vault, and I'm really glad I did. It's really fun. Yeah, Sierra, you're kind of on the opposite end of that. You were not distance at all. You're four by 100 meter, uh, four by 200 meter, and then 200 meter dash. So uh, what do you, what, is there one that's more challenging or is there one that's your favorite? I think my favorite is definitely the four by one because you get so close to your relay team and it's definitely one of the most exciting because it goes by so quickly and extremely competitive. And I think one of the most difficult is the 200, just because there's so many girls that are really, really good, and you kind of have to respect all of them, and it, it just makes it a really fun time. Yeah, a lot of heats to get through, too, before you uh, qualify for those finals. So, yeah, um, we, we got a few seconds left here, so I do want to get one more question here that's you know maybe a little bit um, more off the beaten trail here. So, favorite track and field movie? Uh, I'll let either of you take that first. Um, well, it's not really a track and field movie. Uh, it's more of a cross country movie, but McFarland USA uh, yeah. is a really good movie. Um, I really like it. Uh, this one's also kind of not specifically track and field, but Unbroken um, kind of shows how track and field kind of spans past even just the sport and into all spans of life, too. Kevin, you might like this one, uh, Without Limits, a Steve Prefontaine movie, so check that one out. So, right. uh, yeah, thanks guys for coming in, and good luck with uh, the postseason and everything coming up with you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Brought to you by Conan Automotive, taking care of you by taking care of your family's car.